Michelle of Shell's Creations and today I want to talk with you about how you can tweak the sizes of the photo spots in my lay it on there templates. Sometimes you need one spot to be a little bit different size. Um, you might want it to be completely larger or smaller or it might be that you just need it to be a little bit longer or a little bit wider and we're going to talk about how you can do that today without distortion. Here's an example of what happens if you just grab the corners. Um, this layout spot or this spot right here has been stretched to fit in the spot that I had for it and just so that you can see it I'm going to go ahead and select it in the shadows behind it so that you can see and if I turn it more um, so it's on um, on the grid or lined up directly okay right there it looks like my top is now directly horizontal but can you see that um, if I line it up next to this grid line right over here can you see how it's not remotely square anymore? It's now a parallelogram. Uh, <laughs> there's my math background coming through. It's not square anymore. It's kind of been wonky. Um, and that's not what we want to happen when we change the sizes of these. And so since the photos in these templates are often turned a little bit and shifted just a little bit, twisted, um, it, you have to twist them back before you resize them. So let's go ahead and, and then you'll, you won't have that distortion. Let's go ahead and try this one right here. Okay, we are gonna, in order to get it to, to be able to enlarge it without that distortion, first we need to reline it up again. And you don't have to line it up perfectly, just as close as you can get. I'm gonna turn on my grids. You turn on your grids by holding down Command or Control and the apostrophe key. All right, and let's grab a hold. You need to have both the inside, the gray photo spot, the white photo frame selected, and the shadow selected while you're messing with these. Okay, right there near the corner, we're going to get the little um, cursor that shows the two arrows so that we can shift it. We're just going to spin it and wait for it to update until we come close to having it lined up. Okay, there we go on that one. And now this p picture in particular, I want it a little bit wider, but mostly I want it a lot taller. I have a photo of her wedding dress hanging that I want to be able to make it fit in this spot. Okay, when you have it set to be about the size that you want it to be, um, then you can go ahead and either double click on the inside or click on the green checkbox and that will confirm that that's what you want. Uh, the next thing that you need to do, sometimes when you shift and make these adjustments, now the margins around your gray photo are gonna be off. You can see that this bottom margin is bigger than the little margin on this side. Now we wanna just make sure that we have the, just the photo layer, the gray one, and then we can adjust it. Let's shift this one. Now, right now I have the grid turned on and um, because my snap to grid is also turned on, it's probably going to make it difficult for me to get this adjustment just right. So again, it's command or control and the apostrophe key to make that go away. Now I can adjust it, shift it down just a little bit until you just eyeball it till it looks right. And if you will hold down your alt key when you do that, it'll adjust the top side at the same time. Then we can say confirm that's what we want. All right, now we have it the right size, but now it's also on on the grid or on online, and we want to turn it back to to tilted. So now we're going to again select the photo, the frame, and the shadow, and now we can go back in. Get your cursor right over one of the corners, and you'll get that uh, to be able to rotate it. And I think I'm going to shift it up just a tiny and over just a tiny. All right, now let's snag the perfect picture for that one. Bring it up top and clip it to it. Okay, now let's slide that picture up just a little bit. There we go. See how much better that size was? Okay, so when you need to change the sizes in the Lay It On There templates, the best way to do that is to go ahead and realign your photo so that it is directly horizontal and vertical. Then change the size of it to whatever you need. Make the adjustments so your margins are correct. Then select all of them and re rotate it so that it fits back in with your layout. If you have any questions, you can reach me at shells.creations1 at gmail.com. We'll see you next time.